everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Heretic on the Black Plague difficulty played through Z Doom. I'm Blood Eye Draken and this is episode 1, Map 2, The Dungeons. One of my favourite maps. And we start at the top of a tower that leads down to a sort of hub-like area and there's all sorts of enemies down here. Well, the main three that we've seen so far. Gargoyles, Undead Warriors, and Golems. So yeah, there's a couple of locked doors. Another one that's unmarked that we can that we have to go to first. Along with all sorts of goodies scattered around the yard. Uh, that's kind of like a crushing device. Yeah, they call this the dungeons for a reason. Um, we'll see more and more of that as we go along. Anyways, we open up these doors. First one contains uh, a gargoyle. Next one contains elven crystal. One crystal. Next one has a gargoyle. And don't open up this one here. If you pay attention to the shadows on the ground, you'll see hidden doors that have this shadow protruding out from underneath them. I don't know if that's a Z Doom thing or if that was originally in the DOS game as well. But just open that up and go around the side and you can catch the Undead Warriors off guard. And then there's golems in the room as well that would have been greeting you. And then, yeah, when you jump down, you'll see that that's a fake wall. And anyway, we've got to go up this moss-like area. I'm not sure what kind of room this was supposed to be, but uh, there's all sorts of hidden rooms that open up if you take the time to explore them. Here's one with a crossbow. It should open up to some gargoyles. And there's just some more warriors. Another room should open up with some uh, golems as well as another one too. Yeah, that one opens up some golems here. And then we're just going to go along this area. Along There's all sorts of which ways we can explore pretty much. We should have an item in here. A shield, yes. Opens up that wall there. I would think that if we came from that direction instead of here, that we would have faced the golems from a different direction. So that's a neat little touch. Alright. Corps! We'll find out what they're for in a minute. But yes, they're for a weapon. And got the yellow key. Yes, this wall is locked, but if we go over here and around... Wait, where's that gargoyle? There he is. If we pick up this torch and press that switch... Uh, that wall opens up. Claims itself to be a secret, but eh, I don't, I don't buy it. You know me, I call those things ancient Chinese secrets. And if you've seen my Shadow Warrior Let's Play, you know why. So yeah, that just unleashed a barrage of golems. Nothing you can't handle. Easy peasy. And then that wall will open up in front of us and will give us the main incentive for our secret. That crusher will open up as we walk out, but be very, very careful. Uh, just as soon as you go to pick it up, yeah. Try to squish ya. Another torture device. Well, the first one we've seen, I should say. Right, and seeing as we have the yellow key, let's go use the yellow door. Which is right here. Uh, this wall and another one will lower at some point. We'll get to that soon enough. And I'll start using the Dragon Claw as soon as we have enough ammo to pump out all those hitscan blue bolts. I always find that with 
rapid fire weapons that the more ammo you have, the more fun you can have expelling ammo into your enemies. Something like having anything having anything underneath 200 rounds just never feels satisfying. Right, we have another secret here. It's a lot more faint this time, but if you take a good look, you can sort of see a shadow protruding from underneath. Plus, it's a little darker than the rest of the wall anyway. Pick up the Shadow Spear and Gargoyles. Fun little fact, if it's co-op mode, you get another weapon that normally isn't found in Episode 1. So, we have another set of dungeons coming up. Got a nice little acid bath coming up, but that's not the worst of it. Oh! Normally there's... Doom's equivalent of explosive barrels laid across the lake, but... I guess they got disturbed in advance. Alright, so before we cross, we have another secret. Two of them, actually. Open up this wall, it's got another shadow underneath it. And then another one... Yeah, well, you can see it, can't you? So you get necromancer gloves, if you need them, and time bombs. As well as a map, if you need it. I'll collect it, but I'm not going to need it. Not by a long shot. Ah, uh, this is a habit of episode one. Every map has a pair of necromancer gloves, whether it's secret or out in the open. Alright, we can cross that lake now. By the way, in future levels, some of those explosive... I don't know what they're called, but in, some of them actually regenerate. Take out more gargoyles, pick up more crossbows, every real bolts. And yeah, we have another couple of dungeon areas here. So yeah, that acid bath ain't the worst of it. As soon as you open up this door, just fire. Yeah, baby. I love that explosive chain effect. Uh, but yeah. If you're found guilty, you're going to be thrown into a little acid bath there. And that's not the worst of it. They're going to make sure you stay in that acid bath. By crushing you in. Oh dear God, I would not want to be the person who was convicted of any heinous crimes. Especially since I'm pretty sure that, being medieval times, I'm pretty sure that the court systems are far from perfect. They probably aren't today anyway, as it is. Anyway, this next door is... I'd like to think that it's like an interrogation room. See, this is what I like about the Heretic maps. Well, especially Episode 1 is that the places actually feel as though they resemble what they're called. I mean, I kind of like the architecture and such in Episode 1 for Doom, but kind of felt like it was just there. Like, a, a map called the Computer Station didn't feel like a real computer station. Anyway, yeah, you open up this switch, leads up these stairs, we have another secret here. Uh, you'll notice that only one of the sectors in that, this map is flickering with a torch. Which might seem like a nice touch of attention to detail, but it also is a clue for a secret. This wall here. And the trigger goes off as soon as you pick up these wings. The Wings of Wrath. We won't be needing those for a while, but they will come in handy. And then we'll just open up this door in front of us. And these two walls will open up with gargoyles and golems alike. Let's put this puppy to good use. Done with that ambush, so we'll open this up. And... When we go down, we'll, this wall will lower down. Oh, hang on. Uh, I think it lowers down that wall as well, so I'll just get that to re trigger. Ah, oh, it's this one that lowers down as well. Alright, let's just 
get that going again. Since I want to pick up the items anyway. So yeah, as soon as that lowers down, just charge over across here, you can pick up more items over here. Okay, okay, we're good. We've got one more secret to pick up, I know where it is. We just have to head to the green door now. It's over here. And we'll need the Dragon Core as soon as you pick up this blue key, because we'll be ambushed again. Yeah, I dare say that that's far more satisfying than the chain gun. Alright, we'll put on this torch so we can see where we're going. It's a warrior, should be another one here. And then as soon as you pick up this bag of holding, it's pretty much just in plain sight if you want it. Uh, the wall to the left will open up. And, before I do that, let's put on... Since I'm not going to do this again, let's just put on... Equip this staff. Which is just, yeah, it's just an ordinary wooden staff until you apply it one of the times of power on it, which is kind of the equivalent of Quake's quad damage. But it doesn't amplify, doesn't just attack the, it doesn't just amplify the attacking power, it kind of changes the firing mode as well, as if, as if like an alt fire mode, really. God fucking damn, that's satisfying. Got them all too. Nice. Alright, so we just gotta go back past the dungeon doors in the opposite direction. And then head over to the blue door and just wrap up our kills, really. One more. One more behind this door. Let's use the chainsaw gloves. And that's our line of torture and execution performed in the dungeons. We are out. Yeah, pretty much. It's pretty much like the. It's kind of like the. Nuclear plant in Doom, where it's got that hub-like area, and then you can zip in f between rooms back and forth. And you'll be crossing that hub several times. But it feels like it takes longer than the nuclear plant. Although it takes a lot shorter if you're not rambling through the map like I was. <laughs> no, see you guys in the next map. Where are we going? The Gatehouse. See you guys then.